Hi, fifth graders. Today we're going to learn about adding decimals and we're going to introduce exponents and we're going to learn how to convert measurements and we're going to learn how to expand. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to learn about adding decimals. So we're just this is very simple. It's just the basic rules of addition, but you must make sure to make the the numbers add up as usual. Okay, that's very important. So it's number five together. Um, five dollars and ninety-eight cents plus three dollars and fifty-three cents. So when we put it together, make sure the numbers are aligned the same way. So one, I mean hundreds, tenths, and ones place. Okay. Um, we know that eight plus three equals eleven, right? So we put the one right here, right there, right, and then we move the one to the next place. So we get nine plus five plus one. Okay. So 9 plus 5 equals 14. 14 plus 1 will give you 15. So you bring the 5 right here as usual. And you bring the 1 right here. And 5 plus 3 equals 8. And 8 plus 1 will give you 9. Don't forget to put the decimal right here. Okay, and you get 9.51. 9 but make sure you put the units if they give you units. If you don't put your units, then your answer will be incorrect, okay? Now let's number 9 together. Um, 3.56 centimeters plus 8.43 centimeters. So we are given the, the units of centimeters, so we bring it down right there, right? And then we align all the numbers, make sure they're correct, and then we start adding. 6 plus 3 equals 9, so we bring that down. And then 5 plus 4 equals also 9, so we bring 9 down again. And then put your decimal. Do not forget your decimal if they give you a decimal, okay? And then 3 plus 8 equals 11, so you get 11.99 centimeters. So number 5 will be $9.51, okay? And number 9 will be 11.99 centimeters, okay? Units, units matter, okay? Next, we're going to be introducing exponents, okay? Um, exponents is basically, um, you're given a base value, right? And you have to multiply it by itself, how many times number, um, how many numbers by the exponent, which is, in this case, 2, and the base number is 3. So we do 3 times 3, and you get 9. So 3 squared will give you 9, okay? Um, we're going to do number 3. It's very similar to the example given right here. So our base value is 8, and we have an exponent of 2. So we're going to multiply 8 by itself 2 times. So 8 times 8, okay? 8 times 8 equals 64, and that's your answer. It's very simple. Um, and then number 7. A lot of people get confused on this, but the base value is 1. The exponent is 6. So you multiply 1 by itself 6 times. And no, your answer will not be 6. Your answer will be 1, okay? Remember that 1 to the power of any number will always be 1, okay? Um, so 8 squared equals 64, and 1 to the 6th power will give you 1. Now let's move on to measurements. Um, for this particular page, you only deal with yards, feet, and inches, which is why they um, give you a key for only yards feet and inches but you must keep this in mind when you're answering the questions so they give us one yard equals three feet and one foot equals 12 inches so let's do number two together they gave us six foot but we need to find out the number of yards that six foot equals so we know that one yard equals three feet right so we put the given amount six foot over one times one yard over three feet because we want to um we want to um, eliminate these feet because we're only looking for yards, right? So when you put feet over one and one yard over feet, then your feet will cancel out, right? And you're left with yards. And your numbers will still be six divided by three. So you, your final answer will be two yards, okay? Now moving on to number six. They gave us 36 inches and we have to find out the feet. So one foot equals 12 inches and we're given 36 inches. So we put 36 inches over one and make sh and again, we wanna eliminate the inches because we only need feet. So we put, 
inches on the bottom since inches over here is on top and um, when you do so when you multiply the inches cancel out and you're only left with B and in this solution it's 36 divided by 12 so this answer will be 3 feet so number 2 6 feet equals 2 yards number 6 36 inches equals 3 feet okay Now let's do expanding a lot. This once again, this is just plain old addition. But make sure for this one, it wants you to let you know that the numbers um, must align with each other. Like the same place numbers must align with each other. So number nine, we're given ten thousand plus two thousand plus nine hundred plus fifty plus three, right? So for the one for the for the ones place, we're given 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we get a 3. So when we add them together, we just get 3, right? And then we're looking for the tens place, 0, 0, 0, and then we get a 5, and then there's nothing in there, so it's just going to be 0, right? And we get just 5, and then we're looking for the hundreds place, which is a 0, 0, 9, and then there's nothing for these two, so those are also 0. So for the hundreds place, you get 9 right and then we're gonna look for the thousands place so we get zero two and then there's nothing for these three so it's also gonna be zero so you, your thousands place will be two and for the ten thousands place you only have one everything else doesn't have a ten thousand place so you're just gonna put one so ten thousand plus two thousand plus nine hundred plus fifty plus three will give you a total of twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty three okay now let's do number 10 together. 40,000 plus 7,000 plus, 6, plus 600 plus 30 plus 9, right? So once again, all numbers must be aligned with one another. And we get 0. We're looking for the ones place. So we get 0, 0, 0, 0, and 9. So your answer for the ones place will be 9. Now we're looking for the tens place. 0, 0, 0, 3, and then there's none there, so 0. So you get, for the tens place, just 3. Now the hundreds place. 0, 0, 6, none. So these are, once again, 0 for the hundreds place. And for the hundreds place here, you get 6. Now we're looking for the thousands place. So we get 0, 7, and then none for these, which is just 0. So we get 7 for the total thousands place. Now we're looking for the ten thousands place and we'll get we only get four here and everything else does not have a ten thousands place. So your ten thousands place for your final answer will be four. So forty thousand plus seven hundred plus six hundred plus thirty plus nine will give you a total of forty seven thousand six hundred and thirty nine. Okay? Um this is all I have for you guys today. Um I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about exponents, measurements and addition and I'll see you guys next week.